I want you to know that when we go backpacking together in 20 years from now, I'm going to vomit on your sleeping bag. <laughs> you will clean it up and love me the way that I love you. campsite at about 11 p.m. But today we are going to Horton Springs which is just south of the Mogollon Rim. We've never been here before. Never been near Payson. So it's very exciting to go to a new place. And it's even doubly exciting because this is Callan's first backpacking trip. Just five minutes after recording that last video, I'm cleaning up all the vomit off Brittany's sleeping bag, sleeping bag liner, his sleep sack, jacket. Brittany saw an Instagram post about backpacking with babies that said, take your expectations of backpacking with a baby. Maybe lower, lower, and lower still. Still lower. And there you'll have what it's like to backpack with a baby. And we are learning that already. <laughs> our first morning. It looks like the video's in slow mo, but this is real speed. Oh, God. Welcome home. Here's the campsite for the night. What do you think, little man? I'm just watching. Good job, Dad. That's a good break. Do you want to toke the bripe? Let's bripe. What's it like to backpack with the baby? Same as backpacking with your husband. <laughs> Oh. 
So Callan is going to tell you how to backpack as a baby. Tell him, Callan. Are you going to do Callan voice the whole time? No. <laughs> Callan is three and a half months old. This was his first backpacking trip, so we'll tell you what we brought and what we learned. Sleep system. So we have a three-person tent, and we had set up on each of our sides. Um, so Josh slept over here, I slept over here. We brought our old Z-Lite foam pad for Callan, and we just put him by our heads. We brought lots of different layers for him. Pretty much all he had on was his pajamas. They have these little hand covers to keep his hands warm and they're footed pajamas so he was totally covered. Then we put him in his swaddle like we normally do at home and then we put this fleece sack on top of him. He has his own little baby sleeping bag um, which is really great from Morrison Outdoors. This one I think is rated to 40 degrees. They have some that are colder as well. Um, technically it's for babies that are six months and older, but um, we were able to figure out a way to make it work for this little munchkin. Um, we basically just zip him up in it um, and he's swaddled up. And then we have this little rubber band, which we use for our cook pot to hold the top on, and we just tied his arms together. <laughs> to be clear, his arms were not in the sleeves. We tied his sleeves up, not yes, his arms up. His <laughs> Obviously have this little hat that we brought for him um, to keep his head and ears warm, um, which is merino wool. We estimate it was maybe mid-30s last night. So at home, Callan sleeps with a sound machine. We do have a portable one, but it's really heavy. We figured that the sounds of nature would be loud enough. They are not. He was able to get some internet, download this YouTube video of a babbling brook, which is what he listens to at home. Um, and the, we did the irony of listening to a YouTube video of babbling brook next to a babbling brook is yeah. not lost on me. <laughs> um, but we just played it for him and it just kind of like signaled like rest time. And as soon as we put it on, we just left it on for like maybe five minutes until he kind of settled in and then we turned it off and it was fine. So I would say if your baby depends on or really likes sleep machines and helps them like settle into nap time, then just download some sounds on your phone to play for the trail. Bring lots of extra layers. So we brought three onesies, a pair of pajamas, a pair of pants, a jacket and then a couple pairs of socks which um, we put some socks on his hands to keep his hands warm and obviously socks for his feet a sun hat a warm hat and then two burp cloths the one thing that we didn't have for this trip that i wish we had were like a merino wool onesie and merino wool pants for him um, because in the carrier, and Josh's sweat got onto his onesie, which was cotton, and then his onesie was wet, and then when we were in the cool shade, I was afraid that he was getting too cold. So the merino wool will help kind of like regulate that, um, and it'll be good for him to sleep. So we'll probably buy that after this trip. I also brought the milk snob cover for nursing on the trail. I didn't really end up using that, so I probably wouldn't pack it for next time. Some people might want it. Turns out I didn't need it. I also brought the Hakka, um, which if you don't know about, it's just kind of like a manual breast pump. Um, I was I didn't end up needing it. He ate pretty well, but if you have an oversupply and you're exclusively breastfeeding while on the trail, you might want it, especially for overnight um, comfort. Um, definitely glad I had it just in case. We had two blankets that we brought with us, um, which mostly we use to stuff inside of his carrier that we brought. He's a little too small, so we have to stuff it on the bottom to prop him up. Um, but it was good to have then for like some extra layers. Yeah, so the carrier was not super successful. We're gonna have to work on that. It was um, too big for me and too small for Josh um, to like wear in addition to our backpacks. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Too much padding and too many buckles that yeah. rubbed against the backpack and uh, 
They just didn't, they weren't very compatible. Uh, it's great on its own, but yes. to carry with a heavy backpack is really challenging. So we're still working on that. Um, we brought Swelly the Ellie, which oh. at this age, I don't really think was necessary. I mean, he likes it, but we didn't really use it that much. You know, it was just an extra thing to have. We had to bring diapers and wipes. We probably way overpacked diapers and wipes, but we weren't willing to chance that on our first backpacking trip. Um, we brought dog bags to bag up the dirty diapers and put them inside separate, like, gallon-sized Ziploc bags to pack out. We have our own first aid kit bags. We brought for him little boogie drops for his nose and then some baby Tylenol. In the future, maybe just bringing, like, one syringe worth of baby Tylenol, not the whole bottle. Um, and then the other thing that we brought for him um, was baby sunscreen. Uh, we recently upgraded our camp supplies to include these really nice lightweight backpacking chairs. It was really nice to have um, because we just kept this in the tent so that I could sit here and nurse him at night so it was a lot more comfortable than just sitting on the ground. Um, and you could just take it out really easily, plop it on the trail. Again, total luxury, but really glad I had it and I'll probably never backpack without it again. So <laughs> we're just getting too old. But otherwise... Oh, boff. Boffin'. We boffin'. <laughs> it really, I mean, it honestly wasn't that hard. Like the, like I said, the most, the most challenging part is just packing like extra weight in your packs. And I mean, really, babies are way more flexible and resilient than you think. He didn't have a hard time at all. He was a little bit fussy because he missed some of his nap times but he slept totally fine last night thing that's challenging at like this age is that somebody always has to be holding him so you have to like take turns with things like Josh had to set up the tent but then once he set up the tent I came in the tent with Callan and then set up the inside of the tent while Josh got other stuff ready so you kind of have to like take turns with your camping partner on doing camp tasks you can do it. The first time might be a little scary or stressful, but you got this. I was afraid that we packed too many clothes, but that is poop on the carrier. We are now, oh, oh no. So we are on our last onesie. We packed just enough. Hey, congratulations. We did it. We backpack with the baby. All right, let's go home. So, welcome to our family, no, I'm not gonna say it like that, our family vlog. It's a beautiful day out. We have about mm, gusty 60 mile an hour winds right now, and we're starting about two hours late, and we should be at the campsite at about maybe 10 or 11 p.m. tonight, so. When he says campsite, he means we hope there's a campsite. 